The Railway Children. Chapter Three: Things for Mother. The children soon got to know the trains that passed by. One morning, they decided to wave to one and pretend that it could take their love to father. So they waved, and an old gentleman waved back. He looked pleasant, and the children began waving to him every morning. They dared not visit the station again at first because they were afraid of the station master. But the station master was a kind man and told them to visit any time they liked. They befriended the porter, Perks, who answered all their questions about trains and railways. One day, mother fell ill. The doctor examined her. And told the children that in order for mother to get better, they needed to get some things for her. But how are we going to get all these things for mother? The children thought of a solution. The next morning, Peter stood by the railway line with a sign that they had made and fixed to the fence. When the train stopped at the station, Phyllis ran towards the old gentleman in the train and handed him a letter. Dear sir, we need some things for our mother who is ill, but we cannot afford to buy them. Could you please get them for us? We promise to pay you when we have the money. Later that evening, Perks the porter knocked on the back door of their house and gave the children a large box. Here you go, children. It's from the old gentleman. Inside the box were all the things they had requested for, and some extra items. Dear children, these are the things you need. If your mother gets upset because you asked for help, do tell her that I was happy to do it.